Hey scrappers, Robbie Two Scraps here. We have a desktop printer tonight. Um, generally these are a lot of plastic, but we're gonna break it down and see what's inside of it and then I'll tally up what it's worth and we can see you know, how much, if you think it's worth scrapping or not. All right, so first off, I always check to see if there's uh, printer cartridges in here because these, um, you can take the staples and they'll give you a $2 credit a piece. So I like to take advantage of that. It looks like we got a couple in there, but um, can't really get them out too easily right now. Now this has um, tamper proof bits. So I need to figure out which bit is gonna work on this. <clears throat> Or if we can just go the hammer route, and that is probably what's going to happen. Generally, there are a absolute ton of screws in printers, and sometimes it's just more headache taking them all out than actually just beating it pretty, beating it up pretty good with a uh, with a hammer. But we'll uh, we'll at least see if the screw route works out but my guess is you know what let's just go ahead and just hammer it okay things are popping off lots of plastic lots of lots of plastic throw that all in the recycle bin someone else will get paid for it Okay, here we go. Screws were hidden. Oh man, these things are a real pain in the butt. Probably why you see so many of them around is that nobody bothers with them. More plastic. Man, I just I don't understand why there's so much plastic on this. Okay. That looks promising. Uh, that's all plastic. Alright, we got more screws back here. Okay. Yeah, these little um, these little tamper-proof bit sets are awesome. They're good on printers and microwaves mainly, but uh, there's a couple other things that have tamper-proof bits, like uh, cable boxes. So I mean, you know, that probably costs seven or eight bucks, and it's definitely saves a ton of headache. All right, now we're getting some more plastic. All right, little piece of low grade there. All right, now we get down to some wires here, down to the guts. Ripping some of this out. Alright, there's a little gold. Let me show you this. Very little amount of gold. It's on that board there. Uh, just, just a little gold. I'll just throw that in with my computer, um, my computer boards.
also should be some gold where the printer heads connect. So gold all over the place. I don't really even know what all these little parts are, but just see some screws and taking them out. Alright, more steel. Some of these um, still have ink down in this little cartridge thing, so either wear gloves or be careful because that stuff's nasty. More wire. These are sometimes stainless steel, but you just check with a magnet. Yeah, it sticks. It's still stainless steel, but it's magnetic stainless steel, which my scrapyard pays the exact same price as steel for. So I just throw it in my steel bucket and be done with it. All right, here's a nice. There's a nice board there. Um, some copper bearing motors right there. I'll, I'll rip those off and pull the copper out of that. That's really. You could probably pro throw them with my computer board. But we'll see. All right, well, um, we have a couple motors here. Let me see if I can get that out. More screws, my goodness. All right. All right, got this little motor out of there. Check that guy out. There's another one in there as well. Oh, so much crap. Low grade board there. Take that off. And really, really, if that's stuck to your metal, your steel, just leave it on there. Uh, unless your scrapyard's really picky about that, mine's not. They'll pay this. They'll pay uh, for steel if, if the low grade board's on there or not. So realistically, I should probably just leave it. Leave it on there. Alright, more steel here. Lots of steel. Alright, well, I think I'm probably about done here. Rip the rest of this wire out. Alright, rest of that wire. There's one small motor down there, which looks like it'll be pretty easy to take off plastic off. Uh, well, looks like my bit's not even the right size. Uh, I'm going to check the rest of this to see if there's any, any stainless steel in here. But it looks like it's pretty much the steel the rest of the way around. Um, okay. And just show you this. Hmm, how do I get that out? I think it might be hammer time. Man, that's sturdy. A little steel, steel inserts there. I am going to get this out. Okay, there we go. Okay, there is that gold I was talking about. Tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of gold right there. I don't know how you can see that, but a little bit of gold right there. 
Um, personally, I'm just going to throw this in with my with my computer board. All right, so let me tally all this up, get rid of all the plastic, and we'll see what this specific printer is worth. Okay, I've tallied everything up from the printer I just broke down, and here's the breakdown. Number two wire, this is about a dime's worth. It's extremely thin and doesn't weigh much of anything, so I'll throw that in my bucket and be done with it. I did find two small pieces of stainless here. That's about um, two cents worth. These, I'm going to throw these in my computer board. You can kind of see they've uh, got IC chips and some gold plated connectors. So I'm going to uh, throw them with my computer board. That's about 35 cents. Little motor, half pound with a dime. The steel is eight pounds, so that's 80 cents. And here is the uh, most valuable stuff, I suppose. Staples, like I said, staples will give you $2 a piece for these. So that's four bucks there. So all said and done, if I've done my math correctly, it's 537 for the whole thing. So let me know what you think. And if you'd like to see me break down anything specific. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.